the taping? I think so. There's no light or anything. So there, there should be. You sure you're taping? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, I guess I am. It's going up and there's red light on here. Don't I? We should probably add this to the beginning of the show. We're going to. Damn it. Hello everybody, welcome to Wine Library TV. Oh, that's right, the mic. Hello everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vaynerchuk. Not much going on, went to Paris, went to a Rhone tasting, 2005s, had a French person, is that, can I say that? Had somebody from France come up to me and say hello and it was really wonderful. If you're watching this episode, he said, are you the Gary from Wine Library TV? It was really shocking. I was amongst a couple of people that were completely blown away by this action. The gentleman ran off into the night. I couldn't stop him and get his name. So if you're watching, sir, please email me. I'd like to thank you for coming up to me. What else is not going on? I won two vloggies over the weekend, thanks to the Vaniac Nation. Thank you so much. Link, uh, there you go. What else is not going on? We're not trying out a new camera today. We're not trying out a new uh, microphone today, and we're not introducing you to a wine that you've never heard of, which is a grape called Dornfelder, and this uh, Dibuchon 2005 Dornfelder Red is a very, very interesting wine. Dornfelder has only been around since 1955, and uh, can you hear me? Okay. And, um, and it was started in the town of Weisberg and is really just now hitting the U.S. scene. There's about 10,000 acres planted at this point. As of 1975, there was about 250. So it's an up and coming varietal that a lot of people don't know about. And as a matter of fact, this is the first Dornfelder I have ever tasted in my entire life. So we're gonna experience this together. Only one wine today because what else I don't have going on is 6,000 emails in my inbox, 45 things I have to take care of in the store and still run this organization called Wine library.com but you know we had to do an episode and that's why I'm here what no the ground and the world is whispering to me that the Chicago Bears lost to the lowly disgusting the team that we beat Miami Dolphins in Chicago that can't be Chicago fans that can't be all right very earthy wine um Coming across with a, a little bit of black cherry, also some green aspects. If we're this many minutes into this episode and we sound crazy or, or off, we apologize because we're not trying out new technology. Has a little bit of hint of residual sugar. Has some really interesting mouthfeel. Lots of fruit, very cherry, very dark, actually very good. Lots of tannin structure. I'm actually impressed by this quite a bit. 13% alcohol, interesting little screw top, and I'm breaking the new camera. And what's really cool about this wine is it's $9.99. And I think this is a very nice steal. What can I relate this to? It has some Chinon characteristics to it. It reminds me a little bit of Beaujolais as well. It's also got hints of Zinfandel aspects to it. Kind of think of a blend of that with a medium bodied wine, not a full bodied wine. Very alive and very fresh. Um, nice, nice wine, 2000 vintage. Um, I'm impressed. I'm going to score this wine 88 points, I think, which is extremely good for uh, a $10 wine. And I highly recommend that you try this wine out for $10 because you need to get the experience, you need to try new things. Other than that, we want to keep it short today. No questions, we're gonna be back tomorrow full stream because I didn't wanna, considering all the things I have to do, put out this huge episode today and have to retake it after we figure out this microphone, this new camera, and all these new things are going on. Don't work. We'll see you next time. Ah, 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 ah. You know I'm asking you a question of the day. Question of the day. This is where I want you to be humbled and embarrassed. What is the grape that you have not tasted yet? And I want you to rank them, like give me two or three, but definitely want to know the most famous grape you haven't had yet. Maybe there's some of you that have never tasted Chardonnay, Cabernet, Shiraz. I want to hear about it because I've never had a Dornfeldner. I know you haven't. And if you have, let me know. I'm dying to know who that is. This is Gary Vaynerchuk. We are changing. Oh, 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 oh. Did you notice New York Times today? I'm sure it's late, so a lot of you won't see that, but more importantly, I am going to be on the radio tomorrow, on Sirius Radio, national. So if you have Sirius, I'm gonna be on at four o'clock tomorrow on Martha Stewart's Living Network. So check me out, I'll be on the radio again tomorrow, guys. I don't know if it's a call-in show, I just got word, I'm really excited, and we'll see you next time on Wine Library TV.